Hello everyone, today we have new video review and here we are going to check a new release from Edward. As you can see it is designed for the recent kit MiG-21 MF in 172nd scale and this is a brassine cockpit so it will detail the um, cabin area in your small aircraft. We have a commercial sample so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you will see in this video review and of course we are going to open it and check what is hidden here. So as you can see this kit comes in this classic brassing package and it's a black box with small picture of the kit and then on the rear side we have some safety devices and also QR code for the kit info page and that's pretty much all. So everything is sealed with sticky tape so again I have to use the knife just like in any other bracing kit so it will go like this. Okay and now we are going to open it and check what is actually supplied inside. So here it is we have the assembly manual wrapping everything around then we have two layers of the foam um, I don't recommend to throw away this foam because it's quite handy for weathering purposes so keep it in your store I would say and here we have two plastic bags with resin and also one plastic bag with PE thread so we will check everything one by one we are going to start with resin parts of course and then we will continue with PE parts later so let's open the first plastic bag, we remove all the parts, we place them just like this. So first of all here we have the dashboard, quite tiny and note that it is molded as a one piece part with plain surface so it hints that you have to install the P parts in order to replicate the dashboard. Here you can see what we have on the face side let's say, that's a radar tube and here we have the rear side. Okay. Next we have rear wall, here it is. This one features a lot of pre-molded details, so be ready to work with sharp brush because otherwise it will be really impossible to paint them and here we have just plain surface so that it will be easy to install this part. But this element is really superior in comparison with plastic element, so I mean you see the difference with your own eyes. Next we have a lot of tiny pieces, here you can see them. This is a control stick and also some of the control elements. Maybe camera will focus and you will see. Yes, now you should be able to see it. So here we have control stick, we have also some minor elements. Everything is molded nicely. And let's not forget that this is one seventy second scale, so that's why it is even more impressive, I would say. Next we have here the combing panel, as far as you can see. Just give me a second to check it. So why it is interesting because we have really a lot of details pre-molded so again be careful while painting all this stuff. You will have to use sharp brush otherwise it will be almost impossible to get everything into the right shade into the right paint. Okay and next the second plastic bag is dedicated to big resin parts and as you can guess these are pilot seat and cockpit base. So here we have cockpit base, let's try to focus the camera. It is molded as a one piece element which is really cool because you won't have to spend your time trying to align separate panels. As you can see there are also some pre-molded details which will have to be painted obviously but it will make it a bit trickier to paint them in this small cockpit. And then we have also the one piece pilot seat. That's also really cool as you can see we have a lot of pre-molded details. But note that headrest is molded separately, it will have to be installed here and rear side is also really detailed. Even though it will be barely visible on the finished model, still it is replicated here and that's really appreciated feature because many manufacturers just forget about it. And next we go on with this plastic bag. So as you can see here we get the P fret and small film for target side. So just give me a sec. Okay. So here is the P fret, here is the small film. These are typical Edward products so there is no surprise in this and of course you will have to install all of them in order to replicate cockpit in a full detail I would say. And last but not the least is the assembly manual. Here it is. Let's zoom out a bit. Now you should be able to see it. So here we have 
typical Brassin assembly manual, so everything works like this. You remove this part, and assembly process starts with pilot seat. You assemble all the necessary P parts, then you start working on the side panels on the cockpit. And next, we have here the assembly of opposite side, then we glue all the PE parts on the dashboard, then we install control stick and dashboard into the cockpit, you install the rear wall so you enclose whole cockpit from both sides, and then you install the pilot seat here, and here you can see some of the PE parts, actually these are resin parts which will be glued on the plastic canopy front, and here if you flip it over you can see that cockpit is installed directly into the original um, plastic fuselage half so you won't have to modify anything inside so basically all the position tabs which are in the fuselage house they should house this resin upgrade and here we continue with target side then we install combing panel also this film for the target side and you're pretty much done so overall it might look like a bit complex kit and it is complex because it's not definitely not for beginners but professionals with some skills will be able to get a decent result out of this kit. Of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about this kit here in the comment section below. If you like this video don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for watching and bye!